Today on Bakes and Blenders, you're going to learn how to make flaky, delicious pastry from scratch and then use that pastry dough to make delicious, savory pork hand pies. So if you're excited, let's get started. First, we're gonna divide our butter into four equal portions. Each portion is about three tablespoons or an ounce and a half each. In a bowl, combine flour and salt and add one portion of the softened room temperature butter to the dry ingredients. Use a pastry blender to combine it. Be sure to scrape your pastry blender down every now and then to make sure all the butter gets incorporated. You'll find the recipes used in this video in the description box below. Now you can begin adding your cold water a tablespoon at a time. I like to use a dough whisk to combine everything, but you could just use a wooden spoon that'll work too. You can find links to the products that I've used in the description box below this video. After you've added most of your water, you may find that your dough is just too stiff to stir with a dough whisk or a spoon. That's okay, don't worry. Go ahead and dive in there with your hands. Don't be afraid to get messy. You only wanna add just enough water to bring it all together into a cohesive dough. Don't add any more than necessary. Time to begin laminating our dough. First, we're gonna turn our very rough dough out onto a rolling mat. Go ahead and knead it just a few times to make it a cohesive ball of dough. Now we can begin rolling out our dough into a rectangle that is seven by 12 inches. In my opinion, this is actually the hardest step, which might seem a little weird. The thing is, you want to keep that shape nice and sharp and rectangular. And right now, your dough does not want to be a rectangle. Use a bench scraper or a ruler to constantly press in the sides of your dough to create nice straight edges and sharp corners. You may have noticed that I'm using a marble pastry slab. If you don't have one, don't worry, but if you do have one, this is the perfect time to use it. Marble stays nice and cold and is gonna prevent that butter from getting super melty and making a mess. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Take another portion of your softened butter and dot that on the top two thirds of your rolled out pastry dough. So the top eight inches, you're gonna put the butter on it and then very carefully spread the butter into an even layer. Be careful not to rip or mess up your dough while you're doing this. Now it's time for your first fold. Take the bottom third of your dough, which does not have butter of it, on it and fold it up. Now take the top third of your pastry dough that does have butter on it and fold that over that. Now go ahead and rotate your dough 90 degrees and flip it over and then use your bench scraper or your hands to make sure you've got that into a nice little rectangle. Now it's time to do it all over again with your next portion of butter. This will be the third portion you've used out of the original four. As you're rolling your dough out throughout this entire process, if you find that the dough is sticking for whatever reason, or if you feel it's just getting a little tacky, don't be afraid to sprinkle just a little bit of flour on top of or underneath your dough. Now what we're making here is a type of rough puff pastry. So by folding in the butter, folding the dough around the butter, rolling it out and doing that over and over again, we are doing a process called lamination. Now when we go to bake our savory pork hand pies, this is going to create the incredibly flaky layers of our pies. Now, if at any point during this process, you find that your dough is too soft or your butter is beginning to get a little too soft and melty and is a little squishy, 
go ahead and wrap your dough up and place it in the fridge for about 15 minutes just to firm up a little bit. And we're off again. We are going to roll our dough out, add the butter, and do our third fold. What you'll notice during this entire process is that with each fold, the shape of your dough gets easier to maintain. At first, your dough wanted to be an oval and it was awful and shaping it into that rectangle probably made you want to scream, or at least it did with me. But with each fold, we're reinforcing that rectangular shape, keeping those corners sharp, just makes the process so much easier as it goes on. Now what I'm not showing you in this video is how I made the pork filling that we're going to be using very soon. You can be sure to check out the recipe in the description box below that will tell you everything you need to know about it. And feel free to get creative with your fillings. In the blog post, the recipe post that you'll find below, I've not only do I give you the recipe for this pork filling, I'm going to give you several other ideas to get those creative juices flowing so you can make your own unique savory hand pie. After that final portion of butter is folded into your flaky pastry dough, roll it out again. And this time, we're going to do a fold without adding any butter. Fold the bottom half, third up, top third down, and this time you're going to wrap it up and put it in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes. It's almost time to start shaping our savory pork hand pies. Take your chilled dough out of the fridge and roll it into a 12 by 12 inch square. You'll notice I removed my rolling mat because we're going to be slicing up our dough very soon and I do not want to cut my mat at all. We are going to cut our 12 by 12 inch square of pastry dough into 12 rectangles using either a sharp knife or a pizza cutter and a metal ruler. And we are cutting them into 3 by 4 inch rectangles. So on two opposing sides of the square, you're going to mark every three inches. On the other two opposing sides of the square, you're going to mark out every four inches. This will give you 12 roughly equal sized rectangles of flaky pastry dough that we are about to start filling. Take a square of your pastry dough Put it on your work area. I like to roll it out just a little bit to give me maximum surface area. Then take a scoop of your delicious filling, place it on top. You can get as much on there as possible, but leave a nice ring edge around it so that you have space to crimp your two pieces of pastry together. Now go ahead and top that with another square of pastry dough. You can roll that one out a little bit too so that it is large enough to cover the filling. Place that on top and use your fingers to gently press the dough on top of the other one, creating that border around the edge of your dough. Use the tines of a fork to gently but firmly crimp the edges of your hand pie together. Then take a sharp knife or even a pizza cutter and trim them up just a little bit. Now I prefer to work with each hand pie on its own square of parchment paper. I just find that it's so much easier to move the hand pies around and I don't have to worry about messing them up. Place your hand pies on a tray and put them in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes. While they chill, go ahead and start preheating your oven so that it will be super hot and toasty when you're ready to bake. Before they go in the oven, take those hand pies out of the fridge, give them a little egg wash, then slash three marks on top of each pie to let steam escape while they cook. To top it all off, do a sprinkle of flaky sea salt, then they can go in the oven. Bake your hand pies until they are gloriously golden brown. Be sure to check out the recipe on the Bakes and Blenders website. It includes the instructions on how to make that amazing savory pork filling. It's ground pork, shredded potatoes, sliced onions, all in a honey 
bourbon sauce. It's incredible, it's indescribable, and it's life changing. Thanks for watching and happy baking! I'm not the director of these videos, okay? Just so you know.